Body language is all about social etiquette and social cues. We read other people's body language and we make judgments and assumptions about them. Subconsciously, our bodies respond if someone mirrors our body language. If you see someone crossing their arms, typically the person opposite them may start to also cross their arms. So that's when crossing your arms, how you stand, how you look, how your eye line is, this all affects body language and the reaction you get from someone else. Tilt your body towards someone if you're having a conversation with them, as a body tilted away from them is going to create less of a connection between you and that person. Equally think about your face. I have what's called a resting bitch face, meaning when I'm not trying to engage with someone and I'm just neutrally walking around, minding my own business, I look a bit angry and a bit pissed off. So over the years, what I've done is I've worked on having a more positive face. I smile more than normal to allow people to realize that I'm not actually in a bad mood and that actually I'm quite happy and I'm quite a nice person. Look at yourself in the mirror. Take photos of yourself when you're not posing and get feedback from your family and friends because how your face is affects the body language of those around you. Smile with your eyes. That makes such a big difference and will really help people engage with you. Particularly with COVID about and the fact that a lot of us choose to wear masks, it means that you're only communicating using your eyes. So you have to work extra hard to engage with people. Look at those around you next time you're in the street. What does their body language say to you? What do you like and what do you not like? It's all about being self-analytical because if you notice your habits and your patterns, you can then change them if you want to. In each culture, they follow different etiquettes and different body languages. I have Greek heritage. My mum's side of the family is originally from Greece, although I was born in the UK. And in Greece, there is this body language to say no to something where they lift the head and perform a slight click of the tongue. Now, this actually means no. So to British people, this Greek body language may be perceived as a yes, but actually it's a no. And I find it fascinating because I've spent a lot of time in Greece with my Greek family. Do you have any habits or patterns that you've noticed with your own body language? I'd love to hear about it.